Hey folks, could you use some good news? Well, let's start with this. Researchers have developed a new technique that enables them to take a snapshot of the activity of an entire brain. Conventional methods allow activity in small areas of the brain to be studied in detail. Imaging the activity of the whole brain is possible, but without that same level of detail. Until now, that is. Scientists at Rockefeller University have created software capable of detecting activity from individual neurons and generating a 3D visualization of all neurons active in the brain of a mouse at a specific time. Being able to image the whole brain at once at this level of detail is useful for determining which neurons are important for particular brain activities. By comparing snapshots taken of the brain at different times, scientists could learn which neurons are active after the delivery of a particular drug, or while the subject is engaging in a given behavior, or track the progress of a disease. The study is published in the journal Cell. Next up, a team of engineers at the University of Wisconsin has created the world's most advanced wearable integrated circuits. What makes these circuits so unique is their shape. The circuits are structured as tiny interlocking S-curves, which allows them to stretch without interrupting the flow of electrical current. The size of the circuits also represents an advance in this technology. They're a mere 25 micrometers thick, which is roughly the thickness of a fine strand of wool. These circuits could be useful for constructing epidermal electronics that could be used by medical personnel to wirelessly monitor patients and for empowering the creation of a new generation of wearable technology of all sorts. The paper on these new stretchable integrated circuits is published in the journal Advanced Functional Materials. And finally, good news for you frequent flyers, a new treatment for jet lag could be on the way. Researchers at Nagoya University are developing synthetic molecules that could allow them to modify a person's circadian rhythm, the biological clock that regulates our sleep cycle. A naturally occurring molecule discovered in 2012 called KL001 acts to lengthen our circadian cycle by interacting with certain key proteins. The Nagoya researchers have now created KL001's counterpart, a synthetic molecule that can shorten the circadian cycle. The ability to shorten or lengthen the sleep cycle as needed would be a welcome option for many travelers who suffer from jet lag and for those who suffer from sleep disorders. This recent development is a continuation of ongoing research by the Nagoya University team, research which was first published last year in the journal Agavante Chemie International Edition. A new technique enables detailed snapshots of entire brains, stretchable integrated circuits could herald a new generation of wearable tech, and a new synthetic molecule could lead to better treatments for jet lag and sleeping disorders. That's the good news. <gasps>